Greetings from Rome. As I finish my third week of my synod, synod for synodality, I just want to talk to you about the last phase of this synod. The theme was places. Places which mean the churches and missionary communities, even outside the world of the churches. The places where people met and have been meeting and will meet in the unity of the universal church. We have uh, discussed about Catholicity and unity of the church. Catholicity is not abstract universalism. Rather, it includes plurality of uh, Christ churches in different cultures and places and denominations. But still, we are one church. So the unity and Catholicity of the church has been our very important theme for this synod, which consists of both synodality and primacy. This theme of uh, synodality and primacy is most crucial theme for this entire synodal process. Synodality, as you have uh, heard, is the working together of the people of God with all different kinds of denominations and all people on earth as the uh, communities of the global earth community. And uh, primacy is the center of the synodal process. As one church has one pastor, one prime uh, authority of the community, which also consists of many different type of people of God. So this is the uh, very important harmony of synodality and uh, primacy. For Methodists, we have been uh, in dialogue with Roman Catholic Church and recently, 2022, we have uh, produced the document which is called God in Christ Reconciling. In that document, uh, the uh, synodality with uh, primacy was dealt with. As you know, Peter was the leader of the uh, Christ apostles. So he has a kind of primacy among uh, Christ's disciples in the early church. Even though Roman Catholic papacy has fallen to the monarchical form of leadership during the Middle Ages, uh, so it has not really obeyed the servant leadership of Jesus Christ. But nowadays, after the uh, Second Vatican Council, many uh, bishops of Rome have changed their attitude. So the, their primacy claim is not for the exercise of power, but rather this is the invitation for reconciliation and unity in Christian faith. So this is a servant leadership. So we agree on that as long as the primacy means the servant foot leadership for many different churches for the sake of reconciliation and unity, we agree on this important principle. So we are all one church. We are in reconciled differences. Even though there are differences, well, we still think that we are one church. So next week, I will conclude my interview to talk about the final document, which will be produced next week. Thank you for listening. Bye-bye.